Don't let children watch this. And incoming hilarity. This oblivious guy just, just <laughs> drive up and shoot him right in the face. And you even type in the chat, LOL. Hey, 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 welcome to another training video with Ouchmaker. Today we are taking a look at Scorn. Looks like he'll be using the Colby CSG PR1, which is from Armis, and the Obeya FBW frag grenade and assorted personal mods. The standard clotting agent and happy landings too, which just like in the last video, don't really recommend happy landings because it causes you to pause when you hit the ground. It does prevent you from doing much fall damage, but it causes you to pause so you will not be able to react right away. So like I said, his name is Scorn, but I'm not sure if it's Scorn 3 or Scorn as the 3 being an E at the end, which would be like a Warhammer reference. So just let me know in the comments which one that is. So Scorn, just like some of the other trainees, does have his own YouTube channel. I will have that in the description, so go ahead and check that out. He only has two subscribers, so he's very tiny at the moment, but uh, if you like what you see, you can stick around. So he finally gets opposition. He has a teammate of another silver, a bronze, and a trainee. And he doesn't pull up the menu right away, <clears throat> but I do believe he gets three silvers as opposition. All right, so Scorn, you are using a shotgun, which is extremely close quartered weapon, and the FBW, which is medium range to a point. It's not that great at, at range at all. Uh, you probably would have been better to pick up an Act 44 or an RSA. Okay, and right here, it's a really good move. You uh, cook another grenade, but then you notice that he didn't come up. Probably should have switched off the nade and recooked it because you almost ended up blowing yourself up. That second grenade blew up but did not hit him. You can tell because your prestige did not go up. But I can tell you what did hit him that rocket. <laughs> Somebody out of mission killed him with an Osma. You could tell because the star that he was vanished. And of course, for those who do not know what I am talking about when I'm saying the star, when you're P5 or N5, you show up as a star on the radar, and that vanished as soon as he died. Okay, so this guy shooting the PMG shows up on your radar. And then the guy shooting in the back also shows up on the radar. Should have known that you're a pen. Um, at one point, I probably would have decided to jump down and take on the PMG instead of trying to take on the intact that was on the road because uh, it probably would have been a better matchup for you. It would have been. It would have taken longer for you to get to the intec on the road. PMG. I'm just guessing you just didn't notice him in the radar. This is a good example of you not really having a ranged weapon to deal with that, so you now have to flee and try and get a better angle. But instead of that, you decide to change your weapon, which you never fired. So this video is no longer about the Colby CSG and what really boggles my brain is you decided to go with an OCA which is the same close quarters type of weapon so I'm not sure what that was about <laughs> oh so going back to what I was saying about the weapons you might be asking yourself how did I know it was a PMG on the ground and an intec on the road you can tell by the way the gun sounds 
So you want to try and familiarize yourself with the way that gun sounds so you know what's what's getting shot. I guarantee you I know exactly what a fucking star sounds like. Because I hate them. You can even tell the difference between an HVR... A heavy, sorry, a heavy HVR being shot versus a scout. Versus a DMR, if you can actually hear the DMR because they're pretty quiet. That's a pretty good grenade. I was pretty sure you were going to kill him with the follow-up shots, but unfortunately you didn't. And I'm pretty sure, no, you cannot jump on top of that dish. From the ground, at least, or from the uh, roof. You'd have to jump on it from up high. Here would have been better if you used the FBW from the beginning. Like I said, shotgun, OCA, extreme close quarters weapons. If you're not close quarters, don't even try and use them. And if you are, it would have been better if you didn't downscope with it because, well, I don't know. I don't think you have reflex sight, so that really wasn't a concern. But, um, yeah, you should have used the FBW is what I'm trying to say. That's all. <laughs> and right here again, should have pulled out your FBW. Much better weapon at that position. So your buddies bail you out, grab the hack, and you run up and use the OCA like I've seen ATEX and NTEX use where you duck. OCA is you strafe, strafe left and right, you know, sometimes kind of jump to throw them off, but don't duck. I also did want to mention something else whenever you're up at the dish you could have easily just stood with the dish as cover and hacked it from the side i have a lot of luck with using the dish as cover it's really hard for people to actually be able to shoot under it i was screaming at you in my head right then don't shoot because you're just going to give your position away and you have an oca at that range it's not going to do anything and thankfully you didn't shoot at them And this is my impression of Chowder, the gentleman who you just stole the car from. Motherfucker, you cocksucking dickhead, god damn it. Motherfucker, now I gotta go over here and get this. Never mind, I'll just run. So just fast forwarding a bit to get you back into the action. Now, if you remember correctly, one of them has and the leg. That would be that guy. And what do you do? Get out and duck in front of him. You did take him out, but if you would have been strafing, you may have avoided some of those shots and either survived or be able to whip around and take care of him as well. But that's not what happened. So you finally decide on which weapon you want to use, and you took so long doing it, you actually ran out of time and wasn't able to actually refill your gun all the way. And you chose to switch to yet another close quarters gun. Now at least the PMG does have a little bit more range. Definitely not going to hit him from that range. <laughs> but, but goodness. Goodness gracious, guy. Close quarters to close quarters to close quarters. I was thinking you were maybe going to go with a uh, sniper rifle. Maybe even change your sidearm to a sniper. 
The only reason why you even killed that guy is because your teammate tagged him up a bit. Okay, so right here, prime example of what I was talking about before, using the dish as cover. Now, I personally probably would have gone on the left-hand side of the dish. Right here, you freak out, start running around, get off the hack. Once you're able to actually get back on it, you get made it again and die. If you would have stayed on it the first time, not freaked out and ran around, you probably would have finished that hack. But instead, unfortunately, what ends up happening is nobody else gets on the dish and you guys end up losing the match. So, moving on to your second match, you have switched over to the Intech with Cooling Jacket 1. So now you actually have a medium ranged weapon. Alright, so let's fast forward a bit, get back into the action again. And incoming hilarity. This oblivious guy just, just <laughs> drive up and shoot him right in the face. And you even type in the chat LOL. And then some instant karma. He spawns directly in of your line of sight and gets his revenge. Just again, like you said in the chat. here you get hit with an heavy, a heavy HVR. I keep wanting to say and heavy HVR. If you're slightly tagged with a heavy HVR, like at any point you're hit with it, you need to be almost fully healed before you tempt fate again or you're most definitely going to get shot again and die. I do like your train of thought there. You do notice that you can see the defend point from the high ground. I probably would be still scared of the sniper across the way. But I see you did decide. I'm going to use my sniper. So let's see how this goes. I also kind of agree with this move. But the PDW is probably just as effective as the... FBW, which you already had equipped, uh, but that's the kind of move I would have liked to see you match up your close quarters with a long ranged secondary. But, say la vie. Alright, so you see that somebody's on the defend point, you chuck a grenade, completely miss, do a diving jump with the PDW. PDW is all over the place as it is, even if you're standing still. So probably wasn't the greatest move to jump in the air, but you guys accomplished getting him off with your partner's nano and your PDW combined. And both of your competitors decide to rage quit. And that brings us to the end of another training video with Ouchmaker. 
I would like to thank you guys all for watching, and hopefully this helps you in your future matches. Peace. Oh, they got in front of me. I'll just go ahead and lay down on the side here. Oh, never mind. I'm good. We're gonna investigate four. I don't. Thank God, Sacramento. I just sent Sacramento in and get in.